Who else was I kicking it with personally? If it was that, you would tell me. Who else was I kicking it with personally? Whose other bed was I laying down on? Whose other bed was I sitting on? Uh, Jackie B, aka my son is watching. AKA is not that deep. <laughs> Michael, AKA stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me. This ain't got pop in the streets of Miami. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Hey, guys. What's up? My name is Omosefe AJ, your favorite girl, and you are welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. And also, please watch till the end. As I promise you, this is certainly worth your time. Gang, gang. So if you guys remember, when Michael was introduced as a new housemate in the beginning of the third week of the Big Brother Niger Shine Your Eyes season, as was entry from the door, Jackie B was just, they just met her in the middle and pyam. I don't know whether it's ship or boat or but, and you know now, just like normal relationships, both normal, both fake, they all have obstacles, you know, Angel was part of it, and they had issues basically, and I just want to put this out there because that's what I do best. Michael is a manipulative man wrapped with a sprinkle of accent. During the course of this week, right, you know, they kind of kept their distance just a little bit, especially as Jackie B was chosen as um, the roommate for Boma's uh, deputy head of house, all of that. So she was in the head of house room, basically, while Michael was in the commoner's room. <laughs> so they weren't as close. I won't owe it to the head of house-ish thing, but because, you know, there was some tension here and there. Angel! Yeah. After the party yesterday, because Jackie B was obviously giving Michael all the space he needs, and I kind of applaud her for that, though, even though now she cuss him, because person no one toast you, just they do, tell her about your son, show her your baby pictures, show her your son pictures, and all of that. You didn't even let him. So Michael yesterday saw that Jackie B is not giving him the attention she used to and normal playboy style he called Jackie B. I think Jackie B was eating then she just gave him Indomie or she asked him would you eat Indomie and I was like I like it when you care for me. Jackie do you still care about me? Do you still care about me? And Jackie B said mm, I care less. <laughs> I don't know, it was like the future in Michael just unlocked like Like okay, I'm bringing up my best game. I'm gonna make this girl want me again Before you know it, they were at the garden started talking, you know Michael in his manipulative glory started saying many things like you know I like you though, you know, I wasn't really vibing with anybody when I got to this house. I haven't even slept on anybody's bed. I haven't done this, I haven't done that. If somebody likes me, that's their problem. I don't give a F. I'm all about who I like and I'm a one woman man. Listen to these guys. From my own understanding, one woman man means a man that, you know, believes in a monogamous marriage. You know, one woman man means somebody that is into just one, not really into just one woman, but respects um, exclusivity in a relationship. Like, this is my woman and that's all. That's not the definition of Michael's one woman man. He's like, even if there are other people, you know, there's one I'm gonna like more. Michael. <laughs> is this how they used to be in California? Hey, hey. Well, that shall never end. <laughs> and he was like, I'm a one woman man, blah, blah, blah. You know, just like a parent has a favorite child, Jackie B. Uzon. See, they, they, they say, um, I hope I'm my parents' favorite child. Is that in fact an issue? Somebody is telling you he's a one woman man, and then there are other women on the side, though, but it's one woman he likes, so to say, um, I cheat with purpose. <laughs> I cheat with purpose and understanding. <laughs> Michael shall pull many stones, you know, at some point he will start crying. That, eh, you know, I just think about my life. Yeah, my life, and I'll get emotional, you know, your life is supposed to make you emotional. I'll get emotional to start to cry. Jackie B, come go. Sorry, don't cry. Why are you crying? <laughs> are you okay? Yes, sis, he's okay. He's just trying to get you to do 
<laughs> the needful for him. Anyways, guys, it did not end there. They were at the closet doing lovey dovey, you know. Hey, my bread, is this yours? Mm -hmm. Well, Michael was even saying he doesn't like the way Jackie B comes in. She's always like robotic. Oh my God! Did, did, you know how you approach me? You know she should loosen up, so to say. Let's do that kind of stuff. But anyways, guys. I don't commote my hand for anything we concern Jackie B and Mikey. As you just see me so, I know just know. Anything they like me, they do. They come out to the other man. Mm -hmm. He adopt a son. Mm -hmm. Anything they also do, I don't commote my hand because they, they confuse my brain. They, they confuse me, I beg. And guys, <laughs> I'm really, 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 really looking forward to today's live eviction show. Not because of the nomination saga. <laughs> Speaking of Saga, Saga and Nini now, wow. Like, how can somebody be that words fail me? Like, I don't know if Nini has a boyfriend or not, but she said she does. Respects it enough. And I see a lot of people saying, um, Nini is playing along. She's, okay, what do you want her to do? It's a game. Any opportunity you think would, like, make you stay longer. Of course, you agree to explore that option. They are in the house. They don't know who's a strong character or whatnot. And moreover, in a house like that, you really need somebody solid in your corner because that house will mess with you mentally. So you have to, if you have the opportunity to get somebody who genuinely likes you or who says they like you, you have to maximize that opportunity. So I don't see a problem with what she's doing. But Saga is being a kiss and tell because in one of his diary sessions, he told Big Brother that, Oh, um, Nini is telling Ibuka that they are just friends, but they are doing things under the duvet. What are you doing? Shut up. You know they do anything under the duvet. They make you go sit down with your hairline. Go and sit down. You are a kiss and tell. You are a liar. I know nothing has happened. And this same person that says, oh, we're doing stuff under the duvet. It's the same person telling Pere that um, he has tried his best. He wants to give Nini space. Like, she's not losing up. So, person will know they're losing up. What that they do on that duvet is the contradiction for me. Is the what? Is the contradiction for me? Meanwhile, I don't enjoy their party scenes. It makes me cringe because Saga literally goes to a wall, puts pins Nini to the wall, and just at some point, say, Nini was bringing out her head more like, "Help! Somebody save me!" They she, you people cannot even socialize in the party. He will just carry us to the wall, <coughs> pin her there, carry his hand, put it on the wall, and be, ah, ah you people, take a cheap pee. You wanna take cheap pee? Or take a chill pill. Yeah, I can switch like that. Talent. <laughs> Anyways, guys, like I was saying, back to the nomination saga and the life eviction show thingy. I'm not anxious about whatever the nomination thing is going to be or eviction, whatever. I hope they fake evict some housemates, you know, just throwing a little commotion here and there. But I'm more excited about Ibuka and his table shaking. I want to hear what these people have to say. Because especially Maria, Maria will say something. Now when they ask her, she say, oh my goodness, was I drunk or something? What's her tip say? Girl, if you don't own up to your S-H-I-T, I will whoop your ass like don't play with me man stop playing with me <laughs> so guys that's all for this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up also comment let me hear your thoughts and opinion on this and i will see you in my next video thank you guys